certified most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. Good Thursday evening, Mid-Michigan. Chief Meteorologist Chris Eastlake with your Thursday forecast update. So far, so good when it comes to severe weather. We've had some storms develop to our northeast today. We've had some storms develop to our south. There just really hasn't been much around the TV5 viewing area. We are still under the marginal risk, and until the cold front clears, we will still keep an eye on things. But right now, it appears for the most part, we're in pretty good shape compared to other parts of the state. You can see that on your radar. We've had storms out over Lake Huron that have produced a lot of lightning. We've had a few storms go up in some of our southern counties. They really haven't sustained themselves and we have the same energy as everybody else. We've just seen most of it go to our south and most of it to our north and east. We're just caught in between. A lot of that appears to be we just haven't had the trigger mechanism to really get things going. We haven't had something to start the car engine and really take advantage of that fuel. It's the way it goes. Sometimes a frustrating afternoon and evening. We'll still watch for the next couple of hours to be on the safe side as we go through the evening hours tonight. We've got clear skies as we head into the overnight hours. A few clouds here and there, but not much more than that. Friday looks like a beautiful day. We start with sunshine. We'll have a chance for at least a few fair weather clouds to bubble up in the afternoon, but so far Friday looks like a pretty nice finish to the week and also a much more comfortable finish. We'll start the day tomorrow in the 50s and 60s. Looks like we have a chance to drop the humidity overnight middle to upper 70s tomorrow afternoon. I do think 60s return to our Lakeshore counties as we go into the end of the week. Now next week we do have an extended stretch of potentially excessive heat Monday through Thursday. The real feel could be closer to 95 to 100. We deal with heat. We deal with humidity several times throughout the summer, but it's this level here that we start to get into heat illness. If we're not careful, there's also little nighttime relief, so there's not many chances for us to cool down next week. So try to take it seriously. If you do, we should make it through just fine. But again, it's a week that could sneak up on you. If you're not careful, rain could limit that heat next week, at least on a localized basis. So we'll be watching that closely too. temperatures are expected to be in the low to mid 90s, especially through Wednesday. We may start cooling down a little bit as we go into Thursday. Your seven day forecast shows Father's Day weekend gets off to a great start on Saturday. Also a pleasant start with uh, the lack of humidity Saturday. Even on Sunday as temperatures warm up, the dew points will hold off until at least early next week. It's looking like most of our dew points on Sunday will be in the 50s, so not overly humid just yet. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.